Leah, and I've spoken to a lot of folks in your industry who are actually quite enjoying not being on a plane every weekend, uh, working from Cape Cod and the Hamptons. And I'm wondering, you know, you have 2,000 some bankers, if I'm not mistaken, under that, uh, under your wing that are all working on different types of deals. Is this going to be more normal for them to just be working from home? I think it'll be normal in the interim, but to be honest, people miss the social and business interaction of being in the office and being with their clients. And as you know, I travel a lot, and there were moments when I could have done less of that. But who would have thought that I would say right now, I'm dying to get on a plane and do a business trip here right now. So after eight weeks, I think people are tired of working at home. But on the other hand, it's been very efficient, and the interaction amongst all of our partners has been fantastic between Zoom meetings and all the other video interactions. People have really adjusted very well. And I think we'll work our way through this interim normal, and then there will be demand to get back into having, you know, human interaction, both, mm -hmm. you know, flying to places and doing meetings. But it'll take a while for it to get there, and in the interim, it's working actually very well. So speaking of flying across the world, a little earlier this month, we spoke to your colleague Manolo Falco over in Europe. And one of the things he told my colleagues was that he believed that there will be bigger national champions created in Europe after in light of this crisis but if you look back here in the u.s the big have already getting gotten bigger right there's some talk about some of the big tech companies potentially looking to deploy more of their dry powder into deals but at what spar at what point does Hart scott rodino really start to kick in here right at what point have the big gotten too big in america well, I don't think we're at that point here right now. And obviously, you know, HSR and NT Trust is alive and vigilant here right now. I do think uh, Manolo is correct that you will see, you know, more European champions and there will, therefore there will be intra-Europe consolidation. And I think you will see a rising in M&A activity in the U.S. as some of the large companies consolidate potential weaker players. And also, depending on the sector, take into account this crisis in order to broaden out their business and perhaps be less reliant on any one silo that they had. So I think that's coming, and I think it's going to come in probably three or four months, not so early right now, but we do believe that you'll start to get a return of this activity. As you've seen when you looked at the dot-com crisis and the 0809, there was a gap and then people started to right. take their heads above the parapet and start to do transactions when they were comfortable with valuation. So we'll see it. Well, some of these smaller tech companies were waiting for a public exit with the IPO markets now frozen. Take Airbnb, for example. We, I know we spoke about it a little before, but Airbnb raised money, debt, and their IPO is now further down the line, potentially. They also are reportedly considering cutting a lot of staff here. The dream that existed for some of these smaller tech companies to enter private markets, how much has that died? Well, I think it really depends company by company. I don't think the dream has died. I think just in some cases, the dream has just been put on hold. I do believe, by the way, that the IPO market will start to come back with companies that are suited for this environment, you know, companies that have done well in this environment or where you can project them out. So I think you'll see the IPO market coming. You've obviously seen a number of SPACs being issued. So I think people going public through SPACs will increase over the next few months and, and going forward here right now. And then I think in the cases of the dreams here, you know, the people that, that have formed these companies and run them are absolutely fantastic entrepreneurs. They'll manage their way through it. And the dream will be on hold for six months or a year, but it'll come back. People like this are eternal optimists, and that's what our society is built on.